Greetings, Pisces, my lovely Pisces people. Greetings and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Well, for those of you Pisces who are joining me for the first time, welcome. And those returning Pisces, of course, welcome back. And I appreciate your your energy here today and thank you for supporting me and the messages that I am sharing. All right, Pisces, we're here to do a general reading and this reading will cover the energy of the next seven days, Pisces. It will share what is coming your way and how you best as a Pisces can navigate the energy and circumstances and people that are going to show up in your life over the next seven days. With that being said, it is a general reading. Please do not try to force these messages to fit your situation if they don't naturally fit. All that means is your story is not being told this time, but you'll need to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when your message drops, you'll be the first to know about it, Pisces. All right, Spirit, let's get some messages on the board for our beautiful, lovely Pisces people. Let's show them what it is they should expect over the next seven days, Spirit. And any warnings that you have for them, Spirit, now is the time to bring them through. All right. Don't worry, Pisces. I will make sure you get to see all the cards that do show up for you. All right. And let's get some clarification on the board for our Pisces spirit. Wow, okay, what a week, what a week, what a week. All right, Pisces, your first message comes by way of the strength card in the reverse, followed by the two of cups in the reverse. Finally, we have the seven of swords. All right. Now I have to tell you, the Seven of Swords, as well as the Five of Swords, has been showing up for many signs across the board. So this is this upcoming week, this upcoming seven days, is really going to be fraught with uh, trying situations for many people. Okay. And Pisces, I want to apologize for any background noises that you're hearing. I do live in the city. I block out as much as I can, but it is impossible to block out all the city noise in the background. Hopefully it will not um, disrupt or, you know, disrupt our reading or cause too much of a distraction for you. All right. With that being said, our first message comes by way of the strength card in the reverse, being clarified by the gift card in the Kipper deck. And what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is that a situation in which another person who is a person that caused you or put you into a state of feeling low, feeling down, feeling drained, someone who's been pulling on you, who may have you in a mental state of feeling, you know, low or dare I say depressed and maybe even confused. I'm just seeing this infinity symbol over her head is kind of like this, like, in the old cartoons, how the bird would circle around your head if you were dazed and confused. So this energy that this person and dealing with this person more specifically has put you in has zapped away not only um, 
at you mentally but and emotionally but also has affected your physical wherewithal you know so this has been something that's been brewing over recent weeks if not months and has zapped your strength on all levels so this person comes in this week offering you um, by way of a gift they're trying to make amends or b they are saying um let's have a truce you know so if it's not a physical gift for some of you is what i'm feeling it won't be a physical gift that they bring in but just a message that says hey pisces let's just agree not to disagree or let's just call a truce and be friends again or speak again or whatever it is um, because some of you have cut this person off um, as a means of actually preserving your sanity in this case right others of you are still in contact with this person but you're just going through the throes of this and feeling low and so this person this feels like manipulative energy. They're stepping in and saying, hey, I have this shiny gift for you or I have this shiny offer of a truce. Let me pull you in again, Pisces. Let's go another round with this shit, basically, is, the, is what's coming across here. Some of you may need to look at our, and I hate to bring up this word because it is, Definitely a diagnosis that should be thrown out by someone who's qualified medically. But some of you need to examine whether or not you are dealing with a narcissist. And in the case of female or feminine Pisces energies, look at if you're dealing with indeed a misogynist, okay? Because this person is in the business of tearing you down emotionally, which leads to physical drain, only to kind of like draw you back in for another round. It's like they're getting off on this pain and confusion that they're causing you. All right. So take a look at how that may apply and um, take a look at you know, what that's doing to you really overall Pisces, because with this five of swords, I am getting that, you know, this person is just stabbing you in the back over and over because it feels like winning to them. It feel, it gives them this rush. See how these clouds are kind of like it's like those clouds as a storm approaches, lots of energy whipping around, you know, the clouds in the sky. And that's how this feels. This feels like a rush for them. Like they're, they're winning in their little sick, twisted way. Okay. And you have to look at how that's affecting you as you engage in cycles of this happening over and over again. What is this doing to your self-esteem? Because this person within the next seven days, I see definitely as showing up, showing up in your energy once again to engage you in another round of it. All right. So to be forewarned is to be forearmed, Pisces. Now that you know, prepare yourself, prepare yourself for them coming in to do this again. So our next message comes by way of the two of cups in the reverse being clarified by the courthouse. So a couple of different messages here for those of you who are married at this time and you're married and you're actually seeking divorce. This is a very clear cut. I mean, the tarot can't give it to you any clearer. This is the, the disillusion of that divorce as coming through in the upcoming seven days. So some of you in that situation, you will actually be in court um, or your attorneys will be in court on your behalf, finishing up the final paperwork, the final judgment on this dissolution of marriage. And for some of you, this is a happy thing as you've been 
working towards freeing yourself of this situation. But then on the other hand, I see many of you, again, feeling, um, you know, maybe you didn't want that to really come down to this in the first place. But so you're in a more sorrowful place in regards to this or a more reflective energy is in, in regards to this, but this is coming through. For others of you who may be married um, and things have been happening and perhaps this person doing this to you is your um, spouse, in fact, um, we're looking at someone making a decision in this connection and putting forth this decision to the other party that, listen, this ain't working for me anymore and I want out. I want to file for divorce or I want you to file for divorce, but this partnership is not going forward any longer. All right. And so this can turn your energy upside down, of course, um, especially if this is something that you're not wanting. And again, for others of you, it may be a sigh of relief or the next sign that you're willing to take, okay? Especially if this is being presented to you by your partner, all right? There are some of you Pisces that are going to put this forward to your partner. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And that goes for those of you who are married and not married. This courthouse for those single individuals would just represent officially the official end of this relationship, right? Um, so you're saying to your partner, to your, to your person, listen, I, I can't do this anymore. This is craziness. And these two, keep in mind, these two messages may be intricately linked, right? This person may um, feel this coming from you, Pisces. And as a result of them feeling it, uh, they're trying to present this gift to stop you, in other words, from pushing forward with this uh, release of the connection all right all right so then we have the seven of swords being clarified by the expectation card and again there's a lot of this is really about manipulation um and with this magician card as well I'm seeing this magician using their words and their actions to confuse and manipulate and you having an expectation possibly that um, after seeing through this type of behavior that you're going to get to the other side of it or possibly that this person really isn't doing this to you this time, right? So... This expectation also carries with it a, um, a sense of timing, which lets me know that for some of you, you have for quite some time been sitting still as this person does what they do, do in a manipulative fashion and you are sitting still in the hopes that, okay, I really hope this person isn't lying. It kind of feels like there's something going on, but I just hope that that's not the case. And for those of you sitting still in that energy of hopefulness, spirit is definitely saying to you, open your eyes because you're being shown exactly what this person's about. We are showing you, we are showing you with clear cut signs and symbols. If you look at how this person's words indeed line up with their actions, you will see very clearly what it is that they are about. And you sitting still looking the other way is not helping you. It's not serving you. Um, so spirit is urging you to take a look at that. All right. So in many ways, emotionally, the next seven days for many of you Pisces can be 
it can be challenging as well as it can be freeing depending on where you are um, in regards to you know these activities because it's lots of endings and lots of dealing with com- competing sides and you Pisces being on one side of the coin and your person being on the other side of the coin and dealing with you know do I bridge the gap or do I just call an ending here and walk away? So that can be, you know, and for that to be happening all within the seven day cycle, that can seem very trying Pisces. I want you to take care of yourself emotionally, physically. I want you to make sure that you're doing a lot of self care to help you through this time. All right. Make sure you subscribe Pisces. So as future messages drop, you are first in line to receive them and do take care of yourselves. As I said, until next time, Pisces.